So here's a past GCSE histogram question. Um, so as a typical question, we get a bit of a histogram drawn and a bit of a table on its information given, and we've got to conclude both. I'll just to turn up that this line should be there, it's just there on my part. Right then, so let's start off by um, trying to fill in the frequencies. Now, what we do is we take one of the bars um, where we have a lot of frequency already, and this will help us determine which frequency densities to put on the uh, scale on the vertical axis. If I look at the 35, that's between 30 and 40, and we'll see that we'll have seven. Um, you know, count it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my frequency density um, is times my interval width has got to come to seven. Now my interval width is 10, so I'm going to need 10 times. Hmm, 10 times 3.5 is going to give me 35. So that's going to need to be 1, 2, 3. So I'll go through that again. So I've checked this, it's got 7 divisions. I'll look at my frequency and my um, frequency, so look at my interval width. My interval width is 10, my frequency is 35. So I need to remember that the frequency equals the interval width times the frequency density. The frequency is 35, the interval width was 10, so I'm going to multiply by 3.5. And that establishes the scale on the rest of the what's on the axis, the vertical axis. Just write them all in and then even to work our way through. So um, so now, if I want to find out my frequency, so let's see what I want to do next. So I've got my frequency density there. So if I want to fill in the chart itself, then my frequency density for the 0 to 30 is 1, and that 1 times 30 will give me 30. Alright, for um, my frequency density would be 1, you can see it leads off at 1 there. 1 times the interval width of 30 gives me 30. Just put that down in case. See what I like from. The next one here, um, the 40 to 60, 40 to 60 has an interval width of, sorry, this has a, the 60 has an interval width of 20, so this one's going to be 20 times the height of 3, so it's going to have a frequency of 60. So that fills in the missing um, frequencies. Uh, in, into the table. So now we need the other frequency densities to draw the rest um, of the histogram. So the 60, 60 divided by the interval width of 20, 60 divided by 20 is 2, or 2 sub 3, shall I say, 3. So I can now go to my 40, oh, we've done that one, <laughs> that one's been done. So it's the 60 to 80 I need, and then the 80 to 120. So the 60 to 80 is going to be. 30, the frequency, so just to show you that the frequency density will equal the frequency divided by the interval width. So 30 divided by 20 is 1.5. Let's go to 1.5 there, to 80 there. I'll complete that in a moment. And then the last one, the frequency is 20. You must divide that by the interval width. 20 divided by 40 is 0.5. Pretty much there. So I've just completed the histogram to round off the question that gives us four marks. And that's the histogram complete. So if you're trying to find uh, missing frequencies, you need the frequency density times the interval width. And if you need frequency densities to complete your diagram, then you need to take the frequency and divide that by the interval width. That's it for that question.